name is Grace, I'm from New York City, and I've been with uh, Zillow and Street Easy for uh, more than 15 years. And I have a couple of questions. I'm an independent, I have my own company, there's two of us, and the question I have is, it's clear that you're becoming the house. That's what's happening. That's what I see in the future. You want to become more of the house, and that's great. And, and the reason it's good is because you are feeding us the leads. When I started in this industry, leads were you would sit at a telephone in an office, and they'd come through the front desk, and they would transfer the lead to an agent who's ever sitting there, or you had a couple of hours that the day that you were scheduled, and then you took the lead. The problem I have with the lead generation for, I mean, I pay, so I guess I'm like on market base. I pay every month, and the way these leads are coming in, uh, I got one lead that came in and he says, who are you, where, where are you from? Because I just spoke to somebody in Honduras. And I said, what? And apparently, there is a hub or a base in Honduras that was taking calls for Zillow, uh, this is out in Southampton, uh, Long Island. So the question I have is, how are you prepared to improve the lead connection and asking the proper questions so that we can then convert those leads at a much higher percentage. How are you going to do that? Because you're doing it you now with the, the financing, you're starting this company and you've got, you know, we're going to filter it, we're going to get, make sure they're qualified. But they don't ask specific questions like, do you, are you looking to buy? That's one of the questions they ask. But they don't ask, do you have a broker? They just ask, are you ready to talk to someone? So I'm just curious to know how you might be improving that and going forward in the future for this new platform. Yeah. I'd love to say part of that, and then sure. you guys can, can back me up. So I think, Grace, I love that question. I think we actually get both sides of the coin a lot. We have some agents who are like, give me every, give me all the leads and I will convert everybody. And there's others who want more of the vetting process. I think there's a lot of people within the Zillow virtual cloud headquarters thinking about how do we identify those higher intent leads uh, there's a lot of, again, experimentation, product enhancements happening. You heard about all the great things that the touring team is doing to really identify those uh, higher intent leads, and we want to get those to you. But I do think that there's a mixed bag of, of expectation of there are agents who just want all of them. And we wouldn't want to cut those out, is I guess my, my point. But if you're only getting two or three or four or five leads a month, and you're paying X amount of dollars, and half of them are just people who already have a broker, they're not interested. Spot on, and, and, I, and I think that's a great plug for why we have these innovation markets that we do. It's because these fully flexed markets, we want to test, we want to try different treatments on the connection flow and on the connection scripting to understand how does this impact both lead flow and volume as well as conversion. And we want to try to find that sweet spot because it's amazing to me. And I just, you know, I'm going to quickly get out of my uh, over my skis because now I'm not in the business. But on the connection side. Even just very small tweaks in the scripting and what we ask have pretty material impacts on the, the actual submitted connection volume that comes through. And so when you're paying a lot of money for a connection, we don't want to be experimenting and testing on your dime, for lack of a better term. So we want to try that in markets where we can have a post-pay partner who only pays if it converts. That way we're aligned, but we can try different things and see what really is that optimal sweet spot and then begin to roll that out to other markets. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, we've got time for maybe one more question. Please come find us in the hub.